I'll tell you what, by the time this lamb gets here, it's going to be much. Well, there must be a problem in kitchen. Oh, well, there's going to be a problem out here in a minute. There's only so much sparkling water a bloke can drink, you know. Well, it's a good job you've got sparkling company then. Do you want some more bread? Listen, mate, I don't mean to be rude, but if I wanted bread and water for me dinner, I would have booked into strange ways. What's happening? Well, I apologise. It's, uh, it's our chef. He's something of a perfectionist. I'll chip him along. OK, you do that. Thank you. And don't go planning on any tips. Well, so much for the rave review in the paper, eh? Yeah, but it got us through the door, didn't it? You know, I think we should definitely invite the press to the hard hat party. Get a buzz going. The reason that Van Gogh cut his flaming ear off is because he had people like you in all the time. It says on that menu, slow cut lamb. So we won't be bunging it in any microwave. Well, it never stopped you on the sub. Your microwave used to ping more times than the sonar. Take a seat. Well, how's this over this way? Well, we heard the food was good, didn't we? Mm. First class chef, you see. Yeah, more than could be said for the service. I oh, know, it's shocking. Oi! The same again over here, and a double scotch for me. You're in the middle of your shift. I was. Don't make me sack you. I wouldn't dream of it. I resign. Now, same again here, and a double scotch. All this juice for me, mate. You've not changed. Easy come, easy I go. What about you? You say one item. Well, actually, there's three of us. Yeah. Simon. You know, my kid, he lives with us. Um, so Lucy passed away. Oh, man. Sorry, me. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Anyway, Si's happy now, and I think we're doing OK, aren't we? Yeah, I reckon so. He's a great kid. Look at you. The old family man. I can't believe this is the same bloke I went on shore leave with. Hey, do you remember that week we went to the British Virgin Islands? <laughs> By the time we shipped out, they had to rename them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll let you two sea dogs catch up properly, eh? Oh, uh, what about your lunch? I won't owe your breath. See you later. I'll get us some crisps. Have you heard from Shelley? No. That particular ship left port a long time ago. Still, I'm really happy with Leanne. Well, I wouldn't have put me hard earned on that little coupling. And I wouldn't have bet on you swigging orange juice and water all day. You're not coming down with a scurvy, are you? No, no, not really. Good. I'll get you a grown-up drink, so... No kidding, it's fine. Uh, not for me, Tom. Are you driving? Yeah. Besides, I, I can't cane it anymore. I've got to look after myself. You know, especially now I've got science to think of. Fair play, I suppose. I wish you a long and incredibly dull life. Cheers, Cheers bro. Can I not tempt you to a little short? You built the cold. No, mate, no, I'm, I'm warm enough. Mate. This place doesn't get any better, does it? Hang on. I stand corrected. If I'm not back in 20 minutes, make your own plans. Singer. Of course, I should have known. That would explain the violins. Violins? Can you not hear them? Is it just me? Yeah, yeah, that's just you. Oh, no, wait, wait, I can hear something. Nah, it's just wretching. Mate, that'll put some hairs on your chest. No, no, mate, not for me. I've, uh, I've told you I'm, I'm off the drink. Come on, you're not going to let me drink on my own. One night won't hurt. That's the trouble. It will. Look, I've had a few problems with booze. Really? Yeah. How bad? Well, put it this way. My cornflakes were 50% proof. But I've, I've kicked it now, you know. I'm fine. Glad to hear. You don't mind if I... No, no, mate, you... No, carry on, fill your booze. But she blown you out the water. It is but a scratch. Once I get someone in my sights. Yeah, well, if I were you, mate, seriously, I would train your periscope out to where she's hard work. Got the voice of experience? Well, another time. Hey, love. Hiya. My mistake. Pete's filled me in, so I'll be seeing these off. Unless, of course, your friend would care to join me. Well, oh, is he talking to me? I thought you meant someone who might appreciate a second hand kind of bitter. The old periscope. Thought I'd ask, not to worry. It'll not go to waste. Or the point. Oh, I'm sure. Although some of us have a more discerning palate, you see. Doi, doi, doi. Anyway, we're not stopping. I've just come to tell you that George and Ava picked Simon up from school and he's going to stop over there. So, me and Carla are going to have a girly night in at the flat. So, where's the boyfriend tonight? Husband, actually. And he's in prison for murder. He was insanely jealous. <laughs> right. See you later. <laughs> Just pull my leg, right? Yeah. 
He's not been convicted yet. Still a half a bitter, is it? Yeah, thanks. My pleasure. Nice to see him again. Yeah. Think you'll keep in touch? Dad, I've only just bumped into him. We've not discussed the wedding date. Just wondering. I've been on orange juice all day. You cut me open, I'll bleed the stuff. I feel like a flaming satsuma. No, no, it can't be easy in this situation. But it's okay. I'm on top of it. For sure. But be careful. Please. Hey, so if that's Michael Flatley, you can tell him to high kick his way back to the old country because I am not interested. Hello? Oh, hiya, come up. It's Deirdre. You're disappointed. I am not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> are you going to let Deirdre in or what? <laughs> so you're a cook. A cook? Was the Vinci a decorator? <laughs> I'm a chef. Well, I was. As of today, I'm on the door. Oh, really? Because Liz was on about getting some catering, you know, for Betty's 90th. Betty, I can't believe she's still gone. <laughs> yeah, she was also mentioning taking on some more bar stuff. Sounds like you're an experienced pair of hands. I'm nothing if I'm not that sweet, <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll put a good word in then, shall I? You do that, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to the Rovers return, huh? Cheers. Hey, how about we join the girls for a little nightcap? Oh, oh man, you don't give up, do you? Me. So many women do you know, she right. understands more than she lets on because she listens. I've told her things that I've never told a living soul. Can you pick your feet up? Uh -huh. You're having trouble there, Dad. Ah, oh, in your land, lovely. She'd been showing me your new bar and said, lovely. Can you take that for me? Oh, me yeah. oh. Hey, it's, it's the little one with the funny shape, Bob. <laughs> hey. Thanks for the advice earlier, but next time, maybe look a bit closer to home, eh? There you go. <laughs> you were disappointed it wasn't him at the door, you know? <laughs> All right. I've got an ego I'm not like any other woman, but I'm telling you, I am not interested. Mm. Well, you could do worse, you know. It's not like he's hard on the eye, is it? Oh, pretty boys, a tenny penny. <laughs> I could have one any night of the week. Top us up quick. Hey, mm -hmm. here comes Laurel and Hardy. You drinking as dry before we open, are you? No, we're just sampling the goods. We are wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the state of Deirdre, there's not a lot of spitting going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is too good to waste. Hey, I bet we're making tracks. My dad was going to be here in a minute. <laughs> Could I grab a lift with you? It is not going your way, love. Not tonight. So I'll wait with you anyway, yeah. The driver can get me one. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Whoop. Won't be getting any change there. No, maybe not. But he'll make inroads. He's a master tactician. Mm, mm. We shall see.